I haven't read a book for fun or leisure since I was probably about 15. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to another video. As you guys may know, a while back I got a message on Instagram from a member of the VetX International team asking me if I wanted to write a blog post for them. And I said yes, of course. Um, if you haven't read it, it is available in the description of this video. I wrote about what it's like being a vet student in New Zealand. VetX International is um, led and run by a veterinarian called Dr. Dave Nickel. To say thank you for writing that blog post, VetX International and Dave, he sent me his book, So You're a Vet, Now What? And I haven't read a book for fun or leisure since I was probably about 15. <laughs> I used to love reading as a kid, but I haven't read in so, so long. I said yes, like I'll read the book, but I kind of had really low expectations for myself. I was like, I'm probably not gonna like it. I'm probably not gonna finish it. I've tried to read so many books over the past few years and I just haven't been able to sink my teeth into it. So this is quite bright, let me... But I read this book really, really quickly. <laughs> I actually absolutely loved it. And I am never gonna promote anything that I don't actually really like. And I sincerely loved this book and I would recommend it to any vet student or new graduate or even anyone considering veterinary medicine. They have been generous enough to give me a discount code for you guys to use. I'll put it on the screen here and you can also check it out in the description. I'm going to tell you the three main takeaways that I got from this book that I think are important that I want to share with you guys. It kind of gives you an idea of what to expect when reading this book. The first takeaway I got from this book is that Dave really clearly outlines the clinical and professional skills that you should develop in order to be a good veterinarian. He tells you exactly what the basic crucial skills are that you need to develop as a veterinarian to be successful. He talks about charisma, how to be charismatic in a consult room. He talks about self-awareness and responsibility and taking opportunities and leadership. And these all sound like things that are kind of hard to achieve. But this book outlines in detail how you can master these skills as a new graduate. Real tangible things too, clinical skills. For example, getting really good at dentistry, how to do euthanasias. And I think that it was really helpful just to see an outline of what is expected of me, how I can be good my first year out as a vet, how I can be good in a consult room, and it's also really good to have methods. So like in the future, if I wanna go back and be like, oh, I can't really remember how to work a consult room well. I can find the page in here and I can be like, oh. The second takeaway that I got from this book, how to deal with tricky situations or just unfortunate situations that you might find yourself in. This could be uh, euthanasia or dealing with complaints or picking your first job. These tricky things that you might not have much guidance on when you first start out or things that feel really, really overwhelming and might upset you. He goes through in great detail. For example, there's a whole chapter on the most common complaints that veterinarians get how to avoid these complaints and how to deal with them when you get a complaint like the process that you should go through with the client and also with the business in order to resolve this complaint and i think it's really helpful to have it all in one place like to have um a whole list of things that you can do and coping strategies for these really tricky situations he also talks a lot about taking responsibility um, and how to not blame yourself but also not deflect blame onto other people. For example, if something goes wrong and you're in charge and you're responsible for it, how to take that responsibility and how to turn it into something constructive instead of a huge hit to your own self-confidence. And I think that that is really important and something that I know that I'm probably gonna struggle with in the future. Say if something goes wrong with a patient, I'm personally really gonna struggle with not taking that blame onto myself and being really upset about it. He also talks about emotional control and stressful 
in stressful situations because obviously in these really stressful situations it can be really easy to get overwhelmed get really emotional and you won't be able to think straight I think that that could really hinder me and I know it will probably hinder a lot of people in their first job so I really liked how he talks about going through the steps of emotional control and how you can get a grip on it. There was a quote that I found that kind of sums up dealing with tricky situations that I really loved. Conflict is a form of feedback and failure means that you tried. And the last thing, the last takeaway that I got from this book was about wellness. And I know it sounds very cliche and very, very typical, like you know, we all know we need to look after ourselves, but he talks about wellness, not only for ourselves, but also for our patients. It has this whole chapter on health and well-being and how to maintain that. And I think we all know the basics of how to maintain your health and well-being. I personally think that prevention is the best form of medicine, whether that's in yourself and also when you're practicing. Doing the little things every single day that prevent you from getting stressed. This is the exact same application that we should be applying to our patients in the consult room. So when a patient comes into the exam room, you need to cover all all of your basics, a thorough clinical exam, discussion about diet, vaccinations, parasite control, behavioral issues, making sure that you're having these sorts of conversations with your clients every single time they bring their pet into the exam room, especially if it's a new puppy or a new kitten. And I really, really love the way that Dave sums up this book with practical skills that you can use to prevent health issues in your patients and also yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope that you appreciated this book review and I would highly recommend going out and getting a copy of this book yourself. A reminder that you can find the link for the book in the description, also a link for my article that I wrote for VetX International. And remember, if you wanna get the book, you can use my discount code for 10% off. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Thank you.